Hey, 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 happy Monday. I am so glad to be here with you today as we continue our year of self-care. Let's see what we have in store for us this week. I'm ready for it. Y'all ready for it? Let's do it. Uh oh, some of y'all gonna like this. Some of y'all not gonna like this. Action. Ooh, lights, camera, action. This journey to finding yourself. Oh my goodness. I love this. The journey to find your lost self begins with one step. So last time, last week, we were talking about thinking big. Hmm. I guess the universe is reinforcing the message <laughs> that to think big and to dream big then means to come back into what's my first step. What's the smallest, littlest thing that I can do? What's the smallest, littlest risk that I can take? In this effort to move something forward, when we're talking about your lost self, right? Your, the part of you that feels that you have become detached from, disconnected from as a result of abuse and trauma. Okay, so that's real. That's exactly how that feels. When we experience trauma, I often describe it as the thing like trauma starts to just like kind of coat us in this, ugh, in these negative beliefs, in these feelings, in these thoughts, in these reactions, and in these behaviors and coping strategies that they become like these layers that end up hiding and covering up the authentic self, the real self, the true self, which then later in life becomes what we think of as the lost self. Is that me really in there? Who am I now? My gosh, like I've been living this way for so very long. Uh, then isn't that now the real me? So when we're thinking about the idea of reclaiming the authentic self, rediscovering who we are. <laughs> I mean, take action? No. Lay on the couch. Don't do anything. I'm tired. That's too much. It's too big of a mountain to climb. But it's not. It's not when we take one little step. And to be honest, this is exactly why I developed the Beyond Surviving program the way that I did, because I remembered, y'all hear that? Y'all hear the construction happening in the other room? I don't know if you can hear it. I can hear it. Our ceiling decided to cave in. Um, yeah, it's all right. Life happens. <laughs> but sorry if there's a little background noise for this one. Anywho, my train of thought, where did it go? I want to say that the Beyond Surviving program was developed in the way that it was because I was super frustrated and pissed off with going into therapy and feeling like one week I was over here and the next week I was over there and then this thing came over here and I was like, oh my gosh, what am I doing? What am I thinking about? I can't get any kind of focus or rhythm. And so my mind just really works with levels and scaffolding learning. That's because of my background in education. So when I started to do my own process, I said to hell with therapy, it's not working for me, or at least it had gotten me as far as it could. Then I started to develop the Beyond Surviving program and I said, all right, I'm going to tackle this the same way that I would tackle teaching children how to use a computer. What's step one? What's step two? Let's take it in little bitty bites. And before I knew it, I had what is now the Beyond Surviving method or program, which is a step by step process little actions. I am constantly saying to my clients, what's the smallest next step? What's the next littlest thing? If you were to only do just like 1% of this big thing, what would that be? What would that look like? So when we feel stalled out around taking action, we really want to think about the smallest, smallest, littlest, littlest step. And <laughs> And just know that every step counts, even the missteps, because when you fuck up, when you do something and you're like, I thought I was over that. I thought I was going to ever do that again. Or man, I really blew that. It's all a part of learning y'all. It's all a part of the journey. You know, it teaches us something. If we can be self-reflective about it rather than shaming, 
Okay, hear me on that. If you go into a bunch of like, oh, I'm the most terriblest person ever, and see, here I go again, and I'm never going to heal, no, then then that mess, mistake and that mess up is just going to serve to reinforce shaming negative messages. But if you take it as a moment to reflect and to get curious, then it's going to propel you to your next step. So I really just want to encourage you, if there's something that you've been putting off, if there's been something that you've been avoiding, ask yourself the question, what's my smallest? And I mean smallest, itty bittiest first step. And go do it. As always, if there's anything I can do to be a support to you in your journey, I'm here. Reach out. Until next time, take good care of you.